Did you know that tracking your habits can increase your chances of success by over 30%? Welcome to Sheetwise. Let's explore how a simple habit tracker can change your life. You will learn how to create and use a habit tracker in Excel designed to help you develop positive habits and achieve your goals. To set up your habit tracker, we need a little bit of groundwork and we need a number of the month. That's it, now we can start. This data is necessary to build a dynamic habit tracker. So we start with the year, the month, and here we will enter a drop-down list. We go on data, here is the data validation. We click on list, and now as source, we choose the months. And now you can easily choose your month. Now we highlight these cells and merge them and start with habits. And now you enter your habits. I prepared a few and now we merge the data. We copy it down. And now we start with the days. And now we start with the days, but we have to uh, learn a few more formulas. So we start with that column. We start with this formula column shows um, the columns A, B, C as number. So column A1 is column 1 and um, AF is 31. So this is how we start. So we type in column and start with one cell in column A. Okay, and we can copy it through the days, but Excel needs to understand when to stop with the days. So we don't need uh, 50 days. And there we use VLOCKUP. Yeah? VLOCKUP is pretty easy and I created already two videos about um, VLOCKUP. Um, they are here in the corners and it's pretty easy. Here is the lookup value, March and it searches in the drop-down menu and in the second column you see the days and that's what we're asking for. The lockup and we are looking for January um, F4 and we go in the drop-down menu F4, second column, false, enter, 31. Now we need a third formula we go here in and it's the if function. What does if? If asks if something is true or if something is false. So we are asking if B3 is smaller or equal B6. And if so, we want to see this value or else we want and. Yeah, for example. And now we copy it and you see March has 31 days. And so 31 days will be entered here and then comes end. We use that. We go in here and enter if column A15 is smaller or equal VLOCKUP January January and here we use this data second column false so the result will be 31 then so we are back in the if um, formula make column a 15 or else nothing enter okay we don't need that anymore we look up column check and the result is the column so we copy it to the side right we make it a little bit smaller um four and copy it yeah you see it ends with 31 and then are blanks in the cells now check the drop down menu we go in here click on february and you see only 28 days. And that's a good start for our dynamic habit tracker. And now we got a lot of data on the sheet. 
we have the days of the month, the month and the year. So we are able to make a date. Date is another formula. Date combines year, month and day to one date. Year is in A12. Day is in B6. And the month, um, yeah, March doesn't work in this formula. So we need a numeric value of three. And we use a VLOOKUP, looking up the March in the drop down menu and searching in column three and see uh, the number is three. And so um, we this is the formula. And this is how we use it in the habit tracker. We go in here, start with date. Year is pretty easy. That's there. Then we start with the relog up December in the drop down menu here F4 um, free as column. And now we need the day. We go back and the day is in the row above. And that's it. So ah, it's the 1st of December 2024. But we only want a weekday. So we click here on Format Cells, Custom, and write DDD. And that's it. So we copy it here. And uh, looking what's wrong. Ah, this wasn't uh, absolute. Uh, this and I think that's it. Yeah. These are the weekdays. Now we enter a few checkboxes. We highlight the cells, go in insert uh, checkbox. Uh, but I have to warn you in older Excel versions, you don't have this checkbox. And uh, I cannot recommend to use the um, macro versions of it. So uh, in that case, I would make nice borders around the cells and use something like an X or a point or something and count that. But I use the newest Excel version, so we just can choose checkbox and that's it. For the sake of the demonstration, I make a few clicks and now we count it. We use the count function for it, um, or better, we use two count functions, the count if function and the count a function. The count a function here, you see, counts everything with a value in it. Yeah, it's uh, 32 values. The count if function um, only count if, uh, for example, you have an X in it. We start with count if, and here's the range, and the criteria is true. Two checkboxes are checked, so it's two, yeah? And we want to have a percentage, and therefore we start with count um, A, and we count our habits. So now we have the basis for percentage. We choose percentage. Yeah, that's nice. And here in this column, we write the month and completion. So we count again, count if this is the range through divided by VLOOKUP December. And here is the array false and that's it. So um, I want round figures, round. Um, this is the number and we only want one digit. So we have, uh, you see, 20%, 30% and so on. Um, I think that's uh, what's wrong. B there, there, that's wrong. And now we have only 10 percentage steps. I like that. So I added here two round and one. It's easier to read, I think. 
And now we add a chart. We use um, the columns. We delete the chart title. I prepared a chart tutorial in another video, so maybe you want to take a look. But for the moment, we add that. And now I want an overview which habits I'm uh, doing great and which habits need more work. And we need another formula and this is very easy. It's the small function. Small? Yeah, it's really easy. So you type in small and this is your data array and you <laughs> can guess it, uh, it shows the smallest number. And if you change it to two, it's the second smallest number small and this is the array of my completion and we type in eight because we have um, eight habits but you also could use a count function um, if you want to use more or less habits yeah, count this uh, would be eight two okay and you see this is 60 percent it's the highest number uh, it's the hit the like button i think we increase that um, to I hope 90% for the second row we have to reduce it by one and yeah I'm a big fan of recycling so we um, reduce it by oh, the month numeric it's there so we can use it and it's minus one minus two and all eight habits are there and now we use the xlookup function okay I won't talk about the xlookup function because my last video was uh, 10 minutes about xlookup, so please take a look. xlookup, this is the um, lookup value, this is the lookup array, F4, and this is the return array, but um, you see here is A19 to B26, and we have to chase and change it to A. 26 because of the merged cells okay and yep that's it worked and now all the data is in it so we start to formatting it first of all we get rid of the grid lines and a former boss of me told me that uh, green is good green is always good so we highlight it and we choose a dark green and white font um, yeah i think we should align it properly and here this is not necessary so i think we choose a conditional formatting um, we make the font white and conditional formatting icon sets we choose here the set i would propose indicators if you want to see more about conditional formatting um, see the link here in one of the corners and now we make a little bit smaller here conditional formatting two conditional formatting and we use the color scales and this is a uh, little bit more it's not so nice it's too low and i think we should change the checkboxes to green too right click format cells um, font this is a font in this case uh, i think this is a good yeah this is a nice green we go in this um, graph um, right click format data series and go in here solid fill and choose a green again for the fields we can change we use a uh, slightly brighter green um, and a white font we need a percentage and for sure we need colors so yeah that's good i think i like it i think it's always a difference between weekend and weekday we want to change that we click on sunday we go on home conditional formatting manage rules new rule use a formula and then we want to check if it's a weekday or weekday a weekend we use the weekday formula and check this too that's the right option and we say this has to be um, bigger than five 
So then we uh, say, oh, if it's a weekend, we use this format. And we use a slightly um, brighter um, a green and a white color. Yeah. And um, click OK. OK. And now we distribute it. We don't copy the format because, you know, here it's another date format. We cannot use that. So we go back in conditional formatting, manage rules, edit. So here and say apply. OK. And now you see these are the weekends. Conditional formatting only for the cells because, you know, um, February, yeah, we change it. Yeah doesn't have uh, so many days so we need another format and we go in this go in here condition formatting manage rules new rule um, uh, use a formula this is equal nothing um, then we want a white background white font um, I think that's it okay apply okay and that works and we distribute it apply so we go in this if um, check the stay if it's um, empty then empty or the usual formula we close it yeah, that's it uh, ignore error and now we can hear a little bit moving now we go in the um, graph we increase everything a little bit and yeah I think we add a column uh, it destroys everything <laughs> but that's okay so we copy it here back on um, track wait like this okay and we have to delete the formats move a little bit more freely i think i like that here we can move that a little bit more i think that's it now here's the error again and now it's done so you can go in the habit tracker choose your month so july and all the days are back and i think this is a really good Tool. To wrap up, remember that consistency is key and using a habit tracker can significantly enhance your success. Keep it simple and check in regularly. If you found this tutorial helpful, check out my other videos and thank you so much for your time. See you.